Second and go live to Anthony Albanese, speaking in Canberra about the controversial unionist John Setka. A range of activity which are in breach of both the Victorian rules of the ALP and the values of the Australian Labor Party. As people would be aware, uh, John Setka contested uh, that action in the courts and lost. Today, John Setka has withdrawn his appeal to that decision and John Setka has now been removed as a member of the Australian Labor Party. This is something that I think is important. It's been important that we demonstrate that Labor's values as a party are greater than any individual and that we're prepared to stand up for those values. Uh, I think that this is a good outcome for the Australian Labor Party. It allows us to draw the line under these issues and to confront uh, a government that attacks workers' rights, that doesn't stand up for working values. Just today, we had to move amendments to its big stick legislation to ensure... Let's cross to Canberra now and catch up with uh, Tom Connell. Tom, a bit of news there, dropping just as everyone's getting ready for question time mm. with Anthony Albanese winning this battle head-to-head -head with John Secker. He's managed to remove him from the Labor Party. Yeah, I wanted to get out and not surprisingly trumpet this just before question time. It's a good result for Anthony Albanese that he gets his way, Chris, that he's out of the ALP. Of course, we know the real issue for him remains that he's still in the CFMMEU uh, and that, for example, for Jackie Lambie on the Registered Organisations Bill is still the deal breaker, that if he stays there, she'll support the bill. So, look, it helps him. He's been able to get his way there. It's a Good little tick off on at least on the optics of his authority. But remember, he's still heading up that union and still a pretty troublesome figure for Labor.